my name's Howard Diner. Um, in case you're wondering about the title for this, it might be a little bit enigmatic. Let me try to explain. Um, there's a saying that I used to grow up with, you know, with doctors. You know, you call the doctor, and the doctor says, take two aspirin and call me in the morning, right? Well, there's a, another part of this um, presentation that we did yesterday in the open space. Um, you'll see a little bit of it here, uh, called Red Bead Experiment. So I want you to take two beads, call me in the morning. This is um, one way that we can get to manage software projects better. I first, uh, oh yeah, and here's the whole thing. We're all done. I first want to talk about um, what it's like, what you usually experience <clears throat> as you go through and um, put together a piece of software, do a project, do a product. What does it look like? Well, for me at least, I find that um, as things keep on falling in, it's like you know, things falling out of the sky, all the what's, all the when's, all the why's, they keep on changing. Um, and at the same time, um, the who's and the how's of making this stuff happen, they also change. And we have to stay current with that, or you know, uh, the stuff that we do becomes inefficient. Very hard to do. So when you do it right, at best, it kind of feels like an organized chaos is taking place. And of course, if you're not doing it right, um, we get into this cycle, a bad cycle, a very bad reinforcing cycle, where we somehow plow through the stuff, we get it done, and just about the time we're about to wipe our heads, we do it again. Okay, so it's kind of like the toils of Sisyphus. So how did we get there? What went wrong along the way? My feeling about this is that um, we tried to look at how we produce things. 20th century was all about how we can produce things efficiently. We looked at guys like Henry Ford. We looked at Taylorism. We looked at the scientific way that we can improve the production of goods and thought that we could actually apply this to software. Now, what you're seeing here is a picture of what's called Rouge River. It was built by Henry Ford um, in Detroit between um, 1907 and, I'm going to say, 1918 or so. The plant itself was a mile, <coughs> sorry, pardon me, a mile long. Um, you know, at the one end of the plant, uh, the idea was to take in raw steel ore, raw rubber, and other, you know, raw materials, build a car.